My name is Chuck Donnelly. I work with Donnelly and Associates, Inc. I'm working with the City of Durango on the Comprehensive Plan Update, providing uh, technical information, and we're going to talk about Google Earth. So, how do you get Google Earth? You can actually go to Google at uh, google.com on the internet, click on the More button, and then Even More, and you'll find a link called Earth. If you select that, it'll actually give you the opportunity to download the software. We'll click on Download, and specifically Google Earth, and then pick version 3 as our download. And here you can see the button for download. You can pick Macintosh or Windows 2000. So you follow the on-screen instructions for installing Google Earth. And when you get it installed, you'll see a screen something like this. Go and type in Durango, comma, CO as the address that you want to go to and tell Google Earth to search for that location and it will start to zoom in from way out in the world down to the state of Colorado and eventually to Durango itself. We can place the mouse anywhere on the screen and press the left mouse button and move to another location we can use the buttons on the right to adjust the tilt and bring the earth down and be able to see it, see the terrain in a more oblique fashion. We can rotate the model to the right or we can rotate the model to the left. And we can use the move buttons to go forward or to the right or back or to the left. The Durango Comprehensive Plan Process has its own website. It's durangocompplan2006.org. In this web page, there's lots of information about the prog progress on the plan, the specific proposals, impacts that might be going on, and future opportunities for participation. But in this case, we're interested in looking at the maps. And if you'll click on that, there'll be a download for files that you can use on Google Earth. Usually they have a .kmz extension to them, and they'll be named in such a way that will allow you to understand uh, what the topic is. So after you download the file from durangocompplan2006.org, if you'll double click on it, it will open it in Google Earth and actually fly to that location. And you'll see the comprehensive plan for the vacant lands. Once again, you can zoom in tighter on a particular location. The colors that are here represent different land uses that are proposed for different types of land. You'll notice that there are green colors, which are generally preserved areas. There's tan colors that are, and browns that are residential, and reds and pinks that are more commercial and mixed use type activity. You'll actually find that there are three different scenarios that we've been examining in the analysis of the plan. Here's the 1997 plan for Ewing Mesa. Here's the compact development scenario. And here's the growth centers plan. And you can take each one of those and run the slider bar down at the bottom of it to create transparency so you can see the underlying land and the plan laid right on top of it. And we can zoom in even tighter or tilt so that you have the context of the plan. And then you can do the transparency again. See the Ewing Mesa tabletop area and the land uses that are proposed in those areas.